Yes! 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 Sorry about your damn luck. As your heartbreaking, history making, knockouts champion of the century, Mickey James. See, I'm a big believer if you got it, flaunt it, and no one flaunts it better than I do every single night. We're back, and not a second too soon. That's right, this sorry Divas division has never needed us more. And neither have the boys. But make no mistake about it, I'm better than the best in the world. I am the phenomenal AJ Styles. Ladies and nerds, your WWE Divas champion, AJ Lee. I'm the man who started Option C. Spike your hair. Woo, woo, woo. You know it. Oh, and yeah, I held up the WWE for some perks. Do I want an ice cream bar with my name on it? You're damn right. Welcome everyone to this, to uh, welcome back, I guess I should say, to Pipe Bomb. I hadn't done these in a while, and you know, I figured I'd start it back up. It's now available on the marination.wordpress.com website. And we're going to I got a lot of things I want to get off my chest here. Uh, a lot of things going on lately in the wrestling world, and some of these things has got my undies in a bunch. And I'm just going to go off and just say what I want to say about it and no filters okay so let's just jump right in to the thick of things and let me just start off raw off the bat with the WWE Network okay um, you recently the quarter reports came out uh, for WWE and the number of subscriptions uh, after the number of people who dropped and the number of people who uh, who subscribed they had gained somewhere between uh, 160,000 uh, new subscribers, but they lost 127,000 new, uh, 28, uh, 128,000 um, subscribers. Okay, which left them with just about only a 33,000 increase, and it put them just barely under 700,000 subscribers. Well. They just recently announced that, uh, I believe a week from the day, that uh, the WWE Network will be launching internationally. Uh, I think that, uh, over 150 countries plus will be able to subscribe to the WWE Network. It will be available in the UK in October. Uh, mid uh, Middle of this month, more devices are supposed to be able to support the WWE app, more Blu-ray players, more smart TVs and that may increase subscribership. Um, I know that um, I would love for it to be on my Blu-ray player. Uh, uh, right now I'm using a Roku device. It works great. So um, Throughout Monday Night Raw, they kept hiking, hyping, hyping, $9.99, $9.99. And a lot of people on the internet were making jokes about it or getting irritated. Well, the WWE cannot be blamed for not pushing the network, okay? And here's here's what my thoughts is on the WWE network, okay? I love it. I love it, okay? One, I watch, or I do watch uh, main event. I try to watch it live, but my wife, who hates wrestling, uh, I have to compromise, and when she's home, I can only watch Raw, SmackDown, and... Uh, TNA because they're live on TV so I get away with those but anything WWE Network I have to wait until she's at work or or, or if it's pay-per-view pay-per-view she she already knows I'm watching them. so but still I watch main event I watch NXT and I watch some of the other shows I watched Legends House all of Legends House loved it I thought it was a good series 
Uh, I hope they do another Legends House. Be interested to see who they get. Um, I also like to watch uh, WWE Countdown. I find that fascinating. The Legends of Wrestling, I like that. I find that fascinating. And I've watched some of the documentary specials. So, uh, there's a lot of things on the WWE Network. And uh, just the pay-per-views alone, you're saving money. I mean... The average cost of a pay-per-view on a cable system is roughly, if you get the SD, is 40 bucks a month, or 40 bucks per pay-per-view. If you're doing the HD, it could be anywhere between 50 to 60 bucks a pop. Okay, WWE Network. If you do the six-month commitment, you're doing it for let's just round it up and say 10 bucks a month. Okay, you get the pay-per-views in HD, in HD, 10 bucks. Pay-per-view HD. I mean, come on. To me, it's a no-brainer. But yet, you've got people in there that bitch and moan about the WWE Network. Uh, I won't subscribe to it. Blah, blah, this. Blah, blah, that. And, you know, I've heard so many uh, ridiculous excuses. One of the best ones I saw on the web was, uh, none of the pay-per-views have been good. Uh, excuse me? Uh, Sphincter says What? Have you not been watching any of the pay-per-views? Money in the bank? Come on. Uh, you know, we had the four-way for the um, uh, Battleground. You know, we had the uh, the fail four-way for the uh, WWE uh, World Heavyweight title. The Usos versus the uh, Wyatt family for the WWE Tag Team titles. I, I, I just, I, I don't get it. I don't understand. So... You know, each to his own. But if you're a WWE fan and you want to watch the pay-per-views, the WWE Network is the cheapest way to go, and you do get bang for your buck uh, out of the out of the network because there's just thousand hours of content. There's something there for everybody. Myself, like I said, I watch uh, WWE Main Bench, which I'm going to be watching tonight here in just a little bit. Uh, I will watch uh, the countdown. I watched all of uh, Legends House. I watch NXT. I mean, I watch content on there weekly. So, but hey, that's just me. The cool thing is, is that you know I, I can take it on the road with me. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to take my Roku device with me in a couple of months when I go on the vacation to see. I'll be able to keep up and watch my pay per views if there's a pay per view that weekend, which you know. Uh, if there is, there is. If there's not, I mean, it's just worth it. I don't understand why people don't want to subscribe to it and, and everything. If you're that anti WWE, just stop watching. Find something else to watch wrestling. Uh, if you have, if you are, uh, if you live in an area where you have a Sinclair broadcast station, watch Ring of Honor. Uh, if you're a TNA, watch TNA. Or just go on the web, find something you're wrestling um, on YouTube. I mean, nobody's holding a gun to your head making you watch the WWE. So, that's that. I mean, I can't make it any clearer and plainer than that, you know. Uh, I think that it's smart on the WWE's part. Uh, but... Um, I think that uh, one of the big mistakes they made when they initially launched the WWE Network is they didn't do e beta testing for the U.S. market. And that was a big mistake on their part. It could save them a lot of headaches and a lot of troubles that they had and from a lot of pissed off subscribers. And that's one of the reasons. Now, from what I understood, uh, before they, they announced the international um, launch, they did do uh, beta testing. So hopefully those uh, users will have very minimum problems. So, hoping hoping for them, at least. You know. So, okay, let's move on, and let's talk Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is in the main event, SummerSlam. He's going to take on John Cena for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And there has been talks, and yes, I'm not joking, they have been talking about putting the title on Lesnar and keeping the title on Lesnar until WrestleMania next year and having him face Roman Reigns. Okay. You know, I don't have a problem if they want to put the belt on Lesnar as it's going to, you know, eventually give Roman Reigns that title run. 
And, uh, and while we're on the subject of title runs, here's my philosophy on how a wrestler should be groomed to be, to be the, the top guy champion. They did it in the old days, and I'm talking about the 80s and the 90s, and I wish they would still do it this way. You bring a guy up, you work him in the mid-card, you have him hold a mid-card title, whether it be the, right now the Intercontinental or the uh, WWE United States Championship. Either one, let them have a good title run with that, one or two good title runs, then move them up into the world heavyweight title picture. But a lot of wrestlers now are shoved right into it, and some of them, in my mind, aren't ready for it. Uh, you know, but then there's others who have been sitting in the mid card for ages, and they deserve, you know, to be in the big title picture. Uh, you know, one of them is Dolph Ziggler. I think Cody Rhodes could be in the main event picture. It's just, you know, I don't. I mean, I don't know what blows your mind, but. Uh, the, the problem that presents Lesnar holding the title that long, if he wins it at SummerSlam, you're talking September, October, November, December, January, February, March. You're looking at seven to eight months of him holding the title. Okay, one, Brock Lesnar has been working part-time schedule. Limited number of uh, dates, and they're mostly going to be raw and pay per views. Two, that being said, no live events. And I'm sorry, but the point is, is that if you're going, the WWE champion is supposed to be representing the company, or WWE World Heavyweight Champion, WWE Champion, whatever you want to call it. The bottom line is, is that guy is supposed to represent the company. And one of the things representing the company is, is being at a live events. You know, the title is supposed to be the most important thing. You can hail John Cena as much as you want, but the man, for the most part, is unless there's other stimulating circumstances like, you know, currently right now he's filming a movie. But the bottom line is, John Cena's there and he's busting his ass off. And, you know, say what you will about John Cena. John Cena can wrestle. Okay, bottom line is John Cena can wrestle. He's had some great matches. Uh, one of the matches that sticks in my mind right off the top of the back, uh, 2011 Money in the Bank, John Cena versus CM Punk. The bottom, the problem with Cena, and this is the problem I have with Cena, is is the way he's booked. That's what the problem is. It's not John Cena's wrestling ability. It's the way he's booked. Okay, he's booked like he's freaking Superman. And, you know, I'm not a fan of John Cena by any stretch, leaps and bounds, but, you know, let's call it like he is. He can wrestle. It's just, you know, we hate the way he's booked. And I give props to John Cena for all the charity work he does with Make-A-Wish Foundation and and such. And, you know, and my, he's a, my niece, who's about, who's about 13, is a huge fan of John Cena, and you know, I, I'm, I'm, I have no problem with that. I'm glad that, you know, she's a fan of John Cena because he is a role model to young kids. So, so with that being said, I, on the same token, I'm not a Brock Lesnar fan. I've never been a Brock Lesnar fan, okay? Yeah, he's big. He's bad. I've seen him wrestle live. Not, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. He's a big guy, but he just... I don't know. There's, I, I'm just not that impressed with him, but man, that's just me. I'm not going to say he can't wrestle or anything like that. And there's no denying he's a draw. There's no denying that. I'm just, I'm just not a fan. So with that being said, it, I'm not against him putting the title on him. The problem I have is, is that if they're going to wait to take the title off of him until WrestleMania, and he's going to work part time. That's where the problem lies. So. What's your guys' thoughts? Love to hear them. Leave comments. Let us know what you. Let me know what you think. Okay. I'd be curious to hear what you got to say. So, with that being said, let's move on to a little pet peeve of mine. Something that's been getting on my nerves, and this has been going on on, on Monday Night Raw. It's happening on SmackDown, main event, the uh, pay per views. It's getting old. It's getting tiresome. And if you know I'm saying it, you know it's the truth, and you know it's the gospel. 
before I get started on my little tirade here, let me just make one thing perfectly clear, okay? I am, always will be, a CM Punk guy, okay? I wear the colors loud and proud, and not afraid to show off that I'm a CM Punk guy. Okay, with that being said, it's time to stop with the CM Punk chance at live events. Whether it's Raw, SmackDown, the pay-per-views. Especially during the AJ Lee matches, okay? We get it. She's married to CM Punk, okay? The bottom line is, is that you, you should be chanting AJ, not CM Punk. AJ busts her ass in the ring to be the best diva in the WWE. And possibly, she could probably one day stand right up there toe-to-toe with the greats like Trish Stratus, Lita, Mickey James. So, it's disrespectful to these fans, to AJ Lee from these fans who sit there and constantly chant CM Punk. We get it, you're CM Punk fans. I'm a huge CM Punk fan. The bottom line is this, CM Punk left after Royal Rumble. He went home. He had enough. Doesn't matter what the reason is. Doesn't matter. Uh, you can say he took his ball home and went home, or, he, or whatever. The bottom line is he's gone. His contract's up with the WWE. He's no longer under contract to him. He's not coming back. The odds are very slim. Uh, everything I've read, WWE doesn't want him back. They're pissed off at him, and. He's made indications that he's not in any way remotely interested in professional wrestling uh, at this point. So it's time to just let him go. You know, I miss CM Punk just as much as everybody, but, you know, it's time to move on. I've moved on. There's other great guys in the WWE. I mean, look at it. You got Dolph Ziggler. Okay? You got Cesaro. All right? I mean... There's two guys to get behind. Of course, Daniel Bryant. Okay. And, you know, it's just you got guys like that you can get behind. I mean, come on. You know, you got Roman Reigns. Probably one of the hottest guys. And Dean Ambrose. You know, you got Seth Rollins. You know, three great talents right there. You got Bray Wyatt. Probably the most creepiest character since The Undertaker's first debut. You got Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. You got the Usos. You say Us, I say Oh. I'm talking about probably one of the best tag teams we've seen in quite a while. They're kicking ass and taking names, and they're just tearing it up. And they're on one hell of a title run. So you got a lot of guys to get behind. So, you know, take it from a CM Punk guy. Let him go. Move on. And let's just go with the flow. He's come. Let him go. It's not that hard. Just let him go. You can do it. Just let him go. Yeah. Let him go. Okay. Now, with that being said, now let's talk about how WWE is screwing the pooch with three guys who have, you know, great potential. Two of them started off great, and for whatever reason, WWE's decided to take them down the shitter. I'm talking about woo woo woo, you know it, and one of my guys, Zack Ryder. Say what you will. Zack Ryder is a good talent. Will he be ever the WWE World Heavyweight Champion? No. But he would make a great Intercontinental Champion, a great U.S. Champion, a great mid-carder if they would just push the guy and give him a true, decent push. But the WWE won't do it. Okay, let's talk about another guy who was, uh, uh, last year he was money in the bank for the World Heavyweight Championship. Cashed it in on Cena. Lost. His career has gone down the shitter, literally. And I'm talking about Damien Sendow, who comes out dressed in the most ridiculous costumes. And they're making an ass out of him. And it's sad to see. 
You know, it's like who corn who's cornflakes did did he piss in to piss off so bad? You know, what the hell? And it brings me back to, to my third guy on my list. Fine. Dang. You know, he started off great. You know, he had that match against uh, Chris Jericho. Beat Jericho at WrestleMania. His WrestleMania debut. Now, he's having to wrestle against guys. Uh, uh, I want to say Diego of uh, Los Menadores. He's lost to him three times. And he got nailed in the groins by the bull. A midget. Okay? It's getting old. It's like, what is what is the point of all this? I don't get it. Okay? I just don't understand why they can't book these guys right. They're great talent. Do, do I, now, Sendell, I can see as world heavyweight champion, but uh, it's Fandango and Zack Ryder, I'll honest, be honest with you, they make great mid-carders, but that is about as good as they're going to make it in the WWE. Now, I don't get it. I don't understand. Uh, in Zack Ryder's case, the only thing I can think of is, is that the WWE, he went out, he made a name for himself all on his own, started, the, started the, one of the great YouTube shows, uh, Long Island Z, Z, the true Long Island story, became a internet sensation and fans started cheering Ryder, 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 Ryder to the point where WWE was forced to push him and WWE said yeah we'll give him a push and then we're going to bury this guy and that's what they did you know I don't understand with Fandango or Damien Sendow I don't understand it I don't understand it it's great talent in my mind being wasted and you know it's not their fault don't blame Ryder. Don't blame Fandango. Don't blame Sendow. Blame WWE management. That's who I blame. Yeah. Yeah. I blame them. So, I had on Facebook, I had mentioned this several times, and I think we need to make it official. We need to start a campaign. Free Damien Sendow. Free Zack Ryder. Free Fandango. You know, if you ain't going to use them properly, release them and let them go out there and make a name for himself, and you're going to wish he had them back. Okay? Now, let's move on to another subject, and that is TNA. Alright? TNA, uh, it was announced uh, last week or the week before that uh, Spike TV has chosen not to renew uh, t uh, TNA's TV deal, which means uh, come October, TNA is out of a TV time slot on uh, national TV, unless they can get a new TV deal or renegotiate a deal with Spike TV, because supposedly there's still negotiations. Okay, a big argument on the web, I've seen this go back and forth, uh, and the biggest thing is, is all oh, if they can't get, uh, they're dead, they're dead, they're only avoiding the netable, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I, I don't expect everybody to be a fan of TNA. I'm a huge TNA fan, and I'll explain to you why I'm a TNA fan, okay? I'll explain to you why. One of the things I, I, I get great enjoyment from is going to live events, whether it's WWE or TNA. Okay, I've been to... Uh, Many of uh, WWE house shows. Um, WWE uh, since 2006 has regularly come to my area once a year. Uh, the only year I didn't go was last year because I had gotten married that weekend. They were here, and you know my wife was not going to let me spend our honeymoon going to see wrestling, and I can respect that because I love my wife. Um, I went this year with the, v, with the VIP Superstar Package, which you've heard me go on a rant about that. If you haven't, check out my review of the show. Follow the buzz. No, excuse me. I followed the buzzards to Tallahassee. And you can get all my inner thoughts on that. Okay? But I've been to five TNA house shows. Okay? Um, 
my first TNA house show was in 2011, uh, February. I went to a house show in Pensacola, Florida. Uh, the following year, I went to another house show in March of uh, 2012 in Tallahassee, uh, in Pensacola, Florida. I went to another house show in November of the same year, but this time in Knoxville, Tennessee. I happened to be on vacation visiting family and found out they were going to be there, so I got front row seats. Um, the next house show I went to was in 2013 in uh, Pensacola, Florida. Uh, that was in July. And then this, this year in January, I went to see uh, TNA Wrestling. They came to Dothan, Alabama. So, okay, with that said, I have to say, I every time I've been to a TNA house show, I have left psyched, excited, and pumped. I have the I have to say I have had the best fan experience at TNA house shows. Um, the first TNA house show I went to in uh, 2011. Oh my God, I can't even you won't even believe some of the people I met. Kurt Angle, okay. Oh, it gets better. The hardcore legend Mick. Foley, okay, that's two right there, just right off the bat. The Cowboy James Storm, Bobby Roode, okay, uh, Angelina Love, Sarita, okay, um, Jeff Jarrett, Mr. Anderson, okay, I mean, it doesn't get any better. And it, and at the end of the night, when I got Jeff Jarrett's autograph, he's like, hey, did you enjoy the show? Did you have a good time? He took the time to ask me that. And that's what's so cool. Okay? So, in 2011, Devon, uh, Christopher Daniels, and Kazarian. Sweet! Zima Ion. Okay? Uh, it gets even better. It gets even better, okay? D'Lo Brown, you better recognize. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I had a good chat with the uh, with uh, Devon, and uh, of course Gunner. And then at the end of the night, we were in the room with Jeff Hardy. My niece couldn't. Uh, Cowboy James Storm and uh, and Jeff Hardy. My niece was like in Hawk Heaven. This was her first TNA house show. I took her to, by the way. And so, and uh, later that year. Uh, who did I get to see? Um, of course, Cowboy James Storm, Mr. Anderson. The phenomenal one himself, A.J. Styles. That's right. Okay. <clears throat> the greatest man to ever live, Austin Aries. Oh, yeah. Uh, Madison Rain. Brooke Tesmacher. Okay. And at the end of the night, got her picture with guessed it, Jeff Hardy. Okay. So, last year, I went Chris Saban, Velvet Sky. Oh, it, get, it gets better. Jeff Hardy again, which my niece would ki kill me because I got his autograph. Um, the Phenomenal One, AJ Styles. Okay. Um, Robbie E. Jesse. Okay. Robbie E's cool. I don't care what you guys say. Robbie E's cool. Okay. Um, and the greatest women's wrestler of all time, Mickey James. I, I was speechless when I met her. It was like just a dream come true. It's like one of the biggest things on my wrestling bucket list I got to check off. That was just so awesome. Okay. This last year, I met everybody. Body on the card. It was freaking awesome. Okay. Everybody on the card. And you know how much I spent? $150. That includes my ticket. And I was sitting front, front row. Okay. Now, you heard me talk about this. And I'll just, I'm just going to talk about the cost. My family got me the VIP Superstar Experience Package, WWE. They spent $600 on that. I only met two guys. Okay, so I, you you figure it out. Okay, so uh, I'm going to support TNA no matter what happens. Uh, I'm not saying you know oh you know everything's going to be all right because it's not all right. They're in dire straits, big time. They're in dire straits, but hopefully they'll be able to pull through this. 
Um, the past few shows have been great. Uh, I'm sure everybody's going to be tuning in because everybody wants to see Dixie Carter go through the table. Was it a mistake revealing that? Mm, I don't know. I think that, you know, if you go back years ago uh, when uh, Eric Bischoff had Tony Schiavone uh, reveal on the air that Mick Foley was going to win the WWE, uh, WWE WWF title that night on Monday Night Raw, which was pre-taped, people flipped over to watch it because they wanted to see Foley win the title. So I think people knowing that Dixie is going to go through a table is going to tune in because they want to see Dixie go through the table. So, you know, we'll have to see what the future holds for uh, TNA. So, all right. Well, guess what? I'm done pipe bombing. And I'm going to try to make this a weekly thing as much as I can. Uh, it's YouTube style. So I hope you enjoy it. And like I said, it's now available on the mayornation.wordpress.com website if you found it this way or if you found it through YouTube. So, either way, it's available. It's exclusive to the Mayor Nation, so you guys enjoy it. And, hey, don't forget to check out my good buddy, uh, John Mayer, uh, his uh, Block Talk radio show, An Independent Point of View. Uh, you want to talk about one of the guys up in the Northeast that has a great mindset for independent wrestling, and that is John Mayer, the overlord himself. You got to check it out. It's a great show. Uh, he's he's got and he's he's got great guests coming. Uh, that he's on a roll. He's got great guests coming on. You know, it's it's awesome. You know, last week he had the big O on. So um, it's just awesome, and I'm, I'm super psyched for him. Also, you know, John does the wrestling debate with me on the weekends, and. We also uh, do preview podcasts of the WWE pay-per-views, which he uh, hosts, and TNA pay-per-views also. So, um, Anyway, guys, hey, thanks for checking it out. Hope you enjoyed the show. And don't forget to leave your comments because I'd love to hear from you. Um, you know, how can I make things better? You know, what you like, what you don't like, you know. Uh, I'm not my rear because if I was my rear, I'd be working Vegas. So, okay, guys, you take care, and uh, just y'all stay classy, and come on, guys, get that WWE Network, because they need your nine ninety five. Hey, it's cheaper than the WWE stock, that is. <laughs> we'll catch you later.